What's up guys, Silver King here, back with a brand new video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a um, what my settings are and basically everything that I record with. Lots of people have been asking me that same question all the time, and like, what do you use to record with? Do you use Fraps? Do you use DX Story? Do you use, I don't know, Bandicam? <laughs> but um, I'm going to show you guys what I use to edit, what I use to make my thumbnails with. Basically everything that I use first, um, before I start this, I want to apologize in advance. It's kind of a busy day outside, so you're going to like, hear a couple cars drive by. I'll try to filter out as much as I can with Audacity, but let's get right into it. So I don't usually have all the stuff that I uh, record with just on my desktop, which you might see a few things here and there. But the real thing that I use is I just, because uh, I'm on Windows 8.1, right over here is where I have all my stuff at. Um, so I use Vegas Pro 12 to edit all my videos, which I will show you <coughs> a little thing over here. I'll just drag it over. I have two monitors. As you can see, I have a uh, gameplay on right now. Now I'll show you what I use to uh, render and what I use to, um, what is it? Like, you know, go to new and dimensions and everything and the frame rate. But first, I'm going to want to show you guys what I use to actually record with. Which, I sometimes, when DX Tori stops working, which I don't know why it's not on here, but when DX Tori stops working, I usually use Fraps, which Fraps is good, um, but the file sizes are huge. It has a really good codec in it, which, but I'm going to show you how, show you guys how to get the codec for uh, DX Tori here in a second. But I'm just going to go ahead and pin to start, and so I have that there. But I'm going to put it right next to there. There we go. So we're going to open up DX Tori real quick, and uh, this is what I use to record with, so we're going to start over here. I never mess with any of these because I don't really have any preferences of what it looks like or whatever. Um, this, 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 this is going to be different for everyone, but personally I like to put this right here. I have a folder on YouTube It has my I have unedited videos where I just put my raw footage for gameplay or something like that. And then I record from there. I put it in that folder, and then if I want to put some gameplay in, if I'm going to commentate or something like that, I just put it in there. So I do is just click on this, choose the place where you're recording at, or anything like that. And um, I'll show you my folders. I don't think I have anything here. I really don't want to show you guys my videos. I, I recently deleted. I had like 200 gigabytes worth of videos on here, and on my unedited video. So I took basically like half the stuff off my hard drive. But um. In my videos, I have uh, the last episode that I do, which when I do the outro of this video, I'm going to put that in with the little uh, square right there so you can link it to the last video that I did. And I have uh, two outros right now, one with the old song and one with the new song. If you ever uh, watched any of my Mafia Crew videos, it was in the new one. And then here's obviously my intro and the last episode that I did. This is just, um, actually I can probably delete all this, I don't really need it, but I'll just keep it here for now. Uh, video things. This was here when I first got my computer. This is what I used to use, like my old uh, Battlefield intro. And um, I got this from a template also. I get all my stuff from templates, so don't take credit for anything I do. They're free. You can just look up on YouTube, like um, a cool intro template or for something like that. And that's what you really need um, After Effects for. Which that's what I use to edit them and put my name in and everything like that. But yeah, I really don't advise using Sony Vegas for intros because you know, they could be okay, but usually, most of the time, they're not really that good. After Effects is the way. Now for a quick intermission. We make the streams louder. Swag. Go if you want to get out um, an intro or an outro, and then you can just uh, render it and then put it in, in all your videos. Uh, so in the video, I just did a. Um, War Thunder, I never played it before and it's actually really fun. And then background music, these are all these songs that are not copyrighted which I won't get claimed for, which I have a couple videos that were claimed but it wasn't for these. So I usually use these if I'm going to have these for my videos or um, I like trap music and most of those are you can get from SoundCloud for free so they're really not ever copyrighted. So I really like the, um, I really like that. So I will show you um, your write, your write speed here is what you want to it's different for everyone. All you want to do is just click benchmark and then click run. 
And uh, I see people only have like 60 megabytes per second or something like that, and mine's being really fast today, and it's not usually at 170, it's usually at like 150 or something, so I'm just going to leave that 154. Uh, this is on my 2 terabyte. I, I don't know if it's a Western Digital hard drive, I forgot, it came with my computer. And then I have a 120 gigabyte SSD, I'm pretty sure that I run Windows 8 on, so my computer boots like that. And it's really good to have. So, um, well, moving on, I have all these set on default. So, those, uh, start slash stop movie capture is on F12, and uh, this screenshot is on F11. If I go over to here, I'll show you guys uh, my codec that I use. I'll put a link for this in the description. I'm not going to show you how to install it because it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just uh, just click the exe and install it, and then open up DXTOR, and it should be there. Um, this codec, the DX story codec, which I don't know why if it's just me or something, but every time I record, it records at 60. And if I put it on 30 or 40 or something, whatever I use, it usually drops down to like 29 frames, even though I'm still getting 60 in the game, which makes no sense. But, um, I think Logarith, I don't know how to pronounce that, lossless codec. Um, this is really good, and also, for some reason it doesn't work for me, but my friend using it works. If you use YV12, the file sizes are really, really, really small, and it's really nice. But mine are still pretty small compared to what Fraps does and everything like that, so I keep it like that. It's good for me. I don't use frames, and I can actually use DX Story again, which I had to use Fraps there for a while because um, I didn't get a good codec that I can use. File output, don't mess with these at all. Raw cap is if you're doing like a stream or something, which you can use XPUT if you're going to stream. And um, um, use mouse cursor, you don't really need to do that. And a synchronized video FPS, you can do this, but say if you're recording at 30 and then make the frame rate of your going to 30, so it really kind of sucks if you're trying to play. For scaling, you can do size, but then if you do like 920 by 720 and the game is played in 1080p, it's going to look all zoomed in. So I just keep that 100%, I don't really mess with that at all. Over here, um, when I record, I'm not using my um, blue snowball, I'm using just my regular speakers or my like Razer surround sound. If you want to add another one, you just press here, go to 2, and then put your blue snowball there, and then you record your voice also, which just has really good voice recording also, by the way. You don't really need to like use Audacity like I'm using it right now. But um, over here, screenshot, don't mess with that at all. This, um, I, can, I can use more processing threads, but I usually don't. Limit video FPS, I usually do that, but um, I just turn VSync on in the game, so if I'm playing like... CSGO that need more frames than 60 to be able to shoot right and everything like that. I usually take VSync off and just record like that. Um, besides that, I don't really use anything else like this. Um, I only have my profiles won't save for some reason. I don't know why, but it doesn't really matter to me because all I, all I have to do is just go step this folder again every time I get on. So it doesn't really bother me a bunch because I usually keep this on most of the time. But that's pretty much it for DX Story. We'll go ahead and go to, let's see. I don't use XSplit. I'm not going to show you to do XSplit. I don't really use it barely unless I like testing my stream or something like that. Which I can stream really good now with my internet. So it's really happy. Really good, really happy, really happy. So, Fraps. I don't use Fraps anymore. I'll show you, I, I guess, my Vegas stuff. So, was that already open? Okay. So what I do when I start, I always go up here to File, and then I click New, and this is what I do. I do uh, over here. I do HD uh, 1080 60 uh, 1920 by 1080 at 29.970 FPS, and that's what YouTube takes the FPS at is 29.970. And uh, I didn't mess with any of these, I don't think. But then if I'm going to render something, let's see. I'll have to like go like this. I think. Hold on. So I can render as no. I'm gonna put a little clip in here real quick, just so I can show you guys. I'll just do this. I don't care. Yes. Okay. Now if I go to render as, this is what the most important thing is. What you want to do is you're gonna want to go to see. You'll see all these. You want to go to Windows Media Video, and then I do uh, eight megabytes per second HD, 1080, and 30p video. This is really this is pretty good for what I use. Other people use other things, but that's what I use. Uh, .wmv is pretty good for this use. MP4 is okay too, but I haven't found a really good way to render. But that's what I use, and that's uh, what you guys wanted. So that's what I basically use to render and everything like that. Now, what else can I show you? My uh, Photoshop. 
I usually only use Photoshop if I'm messing around and I'm bored or to uh, make thumbnails for my videos. Uh, for thumbnails and everything, what you want to do, which I'm not going to teach you how to do a whole thing, this is the last one I did. But you just do is new, and then if you want to make a thumbnail, it's just 1280 by 720. And click new, and it's just like this. Find a picture off the internet. You know, put some text in there. Oh crap, I hit the mic. Hold on. Then what you do is just put some text in there, blah, 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 whatever you're using. And that's basically all I do for that. I get some PNG files, which are the ones that are transparent, so it's just like maybe like an explosion without the background and everything. And whenever I do that, and then I just upload it like that. So that's basically all I really use for editing. I know it's a really simple setup that I use, uh, better than most people, but that's basically what I do. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you're using to record. If you want me to improve it in a way I can do it more efficiently and get more uh, performance for whatever. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I will catch you guys next time.